Okay. In this video, we are going to talk about something that is the bane of my existence, and this is video verification. Well, or just getting your Google business verified. Google in the past made it pretty easy for businesses to get their Google business verified. It just in the last maybe year or so, they've made it surprisingly challenging. So I'm going to walk you through the the strategies and the tips that that I've had to do for dozens of these uh, video verification videos. Now, without a doubt, getting a Google business verified can be very, very challenging. And what I'm seeing a lot lately is if you change address or change category or change anything on your Google business, it's going to make you re-verify. So having these tips ahead of time probably is going to help you out quite a bit. Now, first thing I'm going to tell you is why are they making it so challenging to verify? And a lot of it has to do with the fraud prevention. There was a lot of fraud going on with Google businesses. People were setting up businesses that didn't actually exist to sell products. Uh, and Google caught on and just decided that they were going to put in some verification procedures that made it a little more challenging for actual businesses to register. So a lot, and a lot of it also has to do with quality control. Google wants to be the resource. They want to be the place that people go to to get the most accurate and the most relevant information. And if people are putting fake information on Google, uh, that makes it not a trusted source anymore. So a lot of what they're doing is fraud prevention and quality control together. So, But don't let this verification process get you down. Uh, typically, you're going to see three different verification methods. One is you're going to see a postcard by mail. I haven't seen a postcard by mail in quite a while, but uh, some people out there still have the ability to do a postcard verification. Most of the time, what we saw previous to uh, a year, maybe a year and a half ago, was phone or, ver phone, phone or email verification. So you could actually have a text message sent to your phone. It would verify your business and then come back. Uh, but what we're seeing now more and more, in fact, I would say 95% of the businesses that I've set up all require a video or live call verification. Now, Here's the thing with the video verification is uh, it's a little bit tricky, but here's my tips. Number one is you have to do this on a mobile device. It will not work on a laptop computer, so it has to be done on a mobile device. The first thing you want to do is start recording outside your business. Okay, so you're gonna have to go out, make sure the street numbers and the and the buildings are, are you can actually see them, uh, and the office and and all of those things. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pan around, show the street numbers, show the address, show the buildings, and then start walking towards the building and approach. Um, I've had really, really good luck with that. The next thing is you're going to want to get into the business. Now, if you have a key to enter the business, even better because it's going to you can show on the video the key going in the door, clicking the handle and opening the door. That's going to prove that you have access to that location and that you can unlock that location. Uh, when you're walking up, you're going to want to show the exterior of the building as well, and maybe the numbers uh, and all of those things. Have some documents ready to go in the verification video. What I mean by documents, maybe your business license or a license hanging on the wall, uh, your business cards, uh, any kind of, um, you know, tax documents would work. Uh, a lot of times they, they want to see um, a power bill to the actual address just to make sure something like that. Okay. So if you get those ahead of, done and ready ahead of time, you can actually incorporate them into the video. So it should, you start outside, you show the street signs, you walk up to the front, you show the numbers on the front, you unlock the door, uh, and then you go into your office and you show your office and then zoom in on the tax documents on the desk. Okay. Easy peasy. So you're going to want to show like uh, like other things in the office as well. Uh, if you if you have any machinery like copy machines or verification codes that you can plug in, you can do that. Point of sale will work as well if you if you operate the point of sale machines. Um, anything that you think might be relevant to help you verify and and, and authorize that you uh, you know show that you are an authorized representative of that business is going to help you significantly in this video. Uh, again, you have to use a smartphone. You want to try to get this under two minutes if you can. I know it's not going to be hard to do. Uh, and if you're if you're on the the top floor of a building, it's going to take you three minutes to get to the top of the elevator. This is probably not going to work for you. 
Uh, you're going to make sure that your lighting is good and that you have really good clear audio. You can narrate through the video if you want. That narration as, as well is going to go along with your video. And it has to be done in one continuous take. So you can't pause and then go somewhere else and then start recording again. It has to be done in one continuous take. And here's the thing. Here's what I found. Be prepared to record, record multiple times. Like You're going to have to try this multiple times over and over and over before you finally get somebody that clicks the button and approves your business. Uh, I've seen instances. I had, I had one location that took us six tries to get their Google business verified uh, from a location. So just be prepared that uh, it's it's not foolproof. You're probably not gonna get it verified on the first try. And if you do, you're, you're really, really lucky. Uh, another option, if, if all else fails, you can go to this website right here and I'll put a link in the description down below. It's uh, the support.google.com slash business slash get help. And in there you can put in like, hey, I'm having technical difficulty. I've tried video verification. It's not working. And what you can do is you can request a live call with somebody at Google. What that means is uh, they're going to, you you pop open your Google business, you hit a button, they schedule a live call. You're actually doing like a Zoom call, but they don't use Zoom, they use Google Meet. Uh, so you have to have the Google Meet app, so, but you launch Google Meet and you're actually with a representative at Google and they're going to walk you through all of the things that they need to see. And once they like that, I've done this, I've done these live calls probably 20 times uh, and almost every single one of them with only one exception, they were like, yep, looks good. They literally click a button and you're verified just like that. So again, uh, just, just reiterating uh, your video verification, go through all of these things right here, make sure you have all those documents in order, do it in one continuous take. If all else fails, do a live call verification through Google Meet, and hopefully that will help to get your Google business verified. I know it's not easy. Like it's going to be a painful experience. Sometimes I've seen instances of people uh, it taking months, weeks and months to get their Google business verified. So if that's you, don't fret. It will happen. And But it's a necessity. We can't do anything else on our Google business until we have it verified. So hope that helps. Hope that answered your question. If you have any comments, uh, throw them down below and uh, reach out if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help and I'll see you in the next video.